GoHuskies.com with walk-on freshman Antoine Hosley. You guys just finished the opening of the camp, went down to Lacey. How was that experience for you as, a, as an incoming freshman? It was fun. I liked uh, getting out there. Um, they taught me a lot of stuff about the new schemes and the offense and defense. We touched on it a little bit in individuals and before we went to training camp, but I feel like the last weekend was really dedicated to us getting to know, you know the full set. And I think with us being a veteran team, it's only three freshmen or three people who haven't been here before, so I feel like it was a lot of help. And I think I'm getting to know the stuff pretty well. So. As a walk-on, did um, Coach Romar lay out some expectations he has of you when the minute you stepped on campus? Work hard. I feel like that's for everybody. Even though me and being on a walk-on, I feel I have to work a little bit harder, you know, to earn what I got to earn, whether it's a scholarship or playing time. Um, but I feel like he just presses to me working hard because after you work hard, other things will come. Everything else will come after that. So. How is it having a nice core group of uh, point guards on the roster to teach you the ropes and show you things here? It's good. I like it a lot. It's, um, they have a lot of experience within all the different types of basketball. The noise is a very good defender. Isaiah can score the ball. Gaddy can handle it. I feel like all three of them give me something that I need, you know, to go further in my college game and everything. So I like it. I feel like they're going to help me out a lot, and I take everything I can from them on and off the court. Was it fun for you to have a teammate from Jefferson here on the squad with you? Yeah, it's, I like it a lot. Even me being close to home, I feel like University of Washington is good. But with him, it's just he's here with me every day. I, we talk on and off the court, and it's just fun. I feel like it makes my college experience even more better. So. Now, a few people might know, but a lot probably don't know, that you actually lived in the state of Washington for a little bit of your life there. Um, talk about what made you go to Oregon and uh, – and uh, how is it being back in the state of Washington? Um, actually, yeah, when I was in freshman and sophomore, I played at Evergreen High School in Vancouver, Washington. And I moved over to Oregon because I, I just want a better basketball atmosphere. And I feel like Jefferson was that. And it was a pretty one of the best teams in the Northwest. And they just had came off of their first state championship. And uh, I played AAU with these guys in Portland uh, during the summertime. And they was kind of in my ear. And then there was a new coach there that was coming my junior year. So I was like, I might as well go. So at the end of my sophomore year, I went ahead and transferred over there, and it was a great experience. I feel it was the best move I could have did in my life. So, what do, what do people out there need to know about you that might not know about you as far as non basketball? Like, uh, what, what's your music interest? What do you like to do in your free time? Um, I'm a very musical guy. My dad used to have a, a gospel choir back in the day, so I'm really into church. I play the drums. Uh, many people don't know that. I like playing the drums on my off time. Um, I just like to kick back and hang with my friends and just enjoy life. Uh, other than basketball, I just got to knock out my schoolwork, and I just, you know, like to chill and have fun. Do you have any musical influences? Who, who, who's your favorite drummer to watch? Oh, favorite drummer. Probably have to be Spanky. He uh, plays for uh, Diddy, and uh, maybe Tony Roaster. He plays for um, Jay-Z. So I like to watch them, too, a lot. They're very crafty, and, you know, I like that. Who do you look up to on the basketball court? Um, I want to say LeBron James. I mean, even though he's not in my position, I just love how he goes hard and he's, he's fearless. He goes through anybody, but if it was, if I would look at the point guard, it would probably be Chris Paul. Uh, all right. Husky fans, Antoine Hosley, welcome to the University of Washington. Thank you.